Hey guys, it's Aislinn and welcome to today's vlog. We got a lot going on. I mean, look at the wall behind me. As you can see, we have a lot of stuff going on today. So let me tell you what happened. So yesterday, um, I took down, I'm sitting on my bed by the way, but I took down our headboard that I DIY'd um, because I wanted to move it down so it wasn't like so far up the wall. When I peeled it off the wall, all of the command strips <laughs> tore the paint off of the wall. Then I realized it's not just paint, it's actually wallpaper. And the wallpaper started coming off in like strips. When we first moved into this house, the walls in the bedrooms are really uneven. Like they look so bad. I, I basically never film in my room or in the spare bedrooms because the walls are just like so uneven and they look really really bad and when i moved into the house i thought it was because this house was built in the 1800s i thought the walls were just plaster and they were so old and so they had lines and cracks and all of these things on them i thought it wasn't something that could be like repaired without spending thousands of dollars well three years later in this house and I, it turns out that the walls are like that because of wallpaper so you can see there are all of these lines throughout all of the walls like literally all of the walls have like lines. It's harder to see on the lighter walls, but there are lines. Um, there are like seams. It looks like there's like cracks and stuff. All of this is wallpaper. And not only is it wallpaper, but it's like four to five layers of wallpaper. I started peeling it back yesterday and there's literally <laughs> four to five layers of wallpaper and I did not know that. I did not know that this was wallpaper. I thought it was the plaster walls and I always thought it was really odd because the walls in the living spaces, like the living room, the dining room, the kitchen, the bathroom, the laundry room, all of those walls are like super smooth and nice. I always thought it was odd that the bedroom walls were like super uneven and like not good looking, like very janky and not cute. Um, but I didn't think there's anything I could do about it. Turns out it's just five layers of wallpaper. So when I found this out, I started having a heyday, obviously, and I started ripping all of the wallpaper off. So let me show you what we got going on. That spot right there and this spot right here is the plaster. Shocking, but the plaster walls have never been painted which is insane like all the paint that's ever been on these walls has been painted on top of the wallpaper so not only do we have like four to five layers of wallpaper there's also layers of paint in between there so this wallpaper is peeling off super super easy and super nice i went ahead and i like i said started peeling let me show you a close-up so here are the walls um this right here is the plaster wall it is so smooth and so nice there are like no imperfections the only imperfections on the plaster underneath are where there was like um nails in the wall or something like that but other than that these um walls are so incredibly smooth and nice and i cannot wait to peel all of this wallpaper off and paint these really nice smooth walls underneath i've been living with like these cracked not cute walls <laughs> like in my living space for years that crack right there isn't even a crack it's wallpaper that is folded up because there's so many layers and all of these are wallpaper seams that are overlining each other so <laughs> i'm really excited to tear all of this off so as you can see here we have multiple multiple layers of wallpaper um yeah you can see there's like probably three to four in this room so we have three bedrooms to do and these bedrooms have really high ceilings so obviously i'm not going to get it all done in one day but i just want to say when i was peeling off the wallpaper i got to the very bottom layer of the wallpaper which is the first layer that was ever put on the walls and i saw on one of the strips it had like uh, the company's name um, so I went ahead and I googled it just out of curiosity because this house is really old and I wanted to know like how old the wallpaper was if it was put up in the 90s or if it was literally from the 1800s. So I decided to google the company name that was on the first layer of wallpaper and literally it is from the 1800s. I'm not even joking you the first layer of wallpaper was from the 1890s. 1890s okay so while i'm doing research about this wallpaper from the 1890s i find 
that wallpaper in the 1800s and early 1900s um they used arsenic <laughs> in them and it actually killed families like family members would die and they didn't know what the cause was and then later they found out that the wallpaper contained arsenic and specifically the color green because the color green was like harder to get with potency like they wanted like a bright green and it was harder to get so they had to use arsenic in order to get that bright color anyway so now i'm kind of freaked out i found that out last night after i tore this apart when i was doing research i found that out and now i was like scared to sleep in here last night but i think it's okay we're just sleeping in here that one night as soon as I found that out, I ordered two respirators off of Amazon. I ordered a scraping tool for wallpaper and I also ordered a pressurized sprayer. Uh, this wallpaper peels off really easily on its own. As you can see, there's so many layers, it peels off pretty easily, but the bottom layer is kind of stuck to the wall the best. So um, I didn't want to have to use a manual squirt bottle to spray three rooms top to bottom four walls in every room i figured my hands would be so sore from like spraying over and over and over again so i just decided to make a ten dollar purchase for a pressurized sprayer so you just pressurize it and then you just hold the lever down and the water sprays continuously on its own so those things should be arriving today i got next day delivery um my husband and i didn't want to start doing the wallpaper without having respirators knowing that there could possibly be arsenic in the wallpaper so all of those things i ordered should be here in the next like hour so until then we're gonna wear regular masks and start scraping off the walls uh we have limited time because it is during the week like it's aaron's first day back to work it's the first work day of the week like the weekend just happened so today is the first day back to work so we didn't want to wait till next weekend to scrape off the wallpaper knowing that there could be arsenic in the wallpaper and now i exposed it they said if the wallpaper is painted over then it's sealed and it's not a big deal but it's when you start peeling the wallpaper apart and letting moisture get in there that it can become like pretty dangerous and i don't know if there's arsenic in this wallpaper or not but i'm also not going to take any chances because it is from the from the 1800s early 1900s and i am not messing around with that you know what i'm saying like i'm trying to live a long life so we are going to gear up and start the wallpaper peeling process and this is so satisfying like you guys you think applying hair color is satisfying peeling this wallpaper it is so satisfying and that's why i went a little ham yesterday on the walls because i started peeling and once i started i was just like oh my gosh and it was so cool seeing all the different layers of wallpaper like i would come across one layer then i'd come across another layer and i got really excited about it and i love like peeling wallpaper and just i love doing little home diys and stuff and i'm really excited to see what the walls look like once they're completely like smooth and i'm sure there's going to be some cracks and stuff underneath the wallpaper because these are plaster walls from the 1800s so i'm sure there's going to be some imperfections in the actual plaster walls but we're going to get some um like hole filler and we're going to try and fix any of the um, holes or cracks that there might be in the plaster but i think for the most part all of the cracks and stuff and all the imperfections are the wallpaper but we'll find out once we scrape all this off so we're going to gear up and start scraping okay these just came from amazon this is a type of uh, mask I got. It comes with the filter things and it also comes with, it comes with a pack of extra filters. So this big pack of extra filters you can put in there. And then I also got this scraper. It's like the best scraper you can get for wallpaper. Apparently it makes the job way easier. And it came with goggles. So because a sprayer hadn't come in yet, I had to use like a manual squirt bottle until it came in the next day. So I'm just spraying the wallpaper and getting it wet so that way it peels off a little bit better. And for this, I actually mixed water with fabric softener. I did um, like about one third fabric softener to two thirds like warm water. And that helps to soak off the glue from the wallpaper. So I'm just spraying the wallpaper, letting it soak and then peeling it off. And this was our first room. So we didn't really know what we were doing. I've never um, had to peel off wallpaper before. 
So this is our first time ever dealing with wallpaper in general. I've never put up wallpaper or anything like that. So we were pretty much just experimenting and I did a lot of research online to try and figure out what we needed to do to make this easier. I'm not gonna lie, this process was super, super hard. At first I thought it would all be like fun and I would just peel off every layer. But basically we had like four or five layers of wallpaper. Um, and then we had like two to three layers of paint on top of the wallpaper. So I was able to peel off some of the first layer of wallpaper that had the paint on top, but then sometimes the paint wouldn't peel off and you can't just spray the water on top of the paint because it won't absorb through the paint into the wallpaper. So you basically have to peel off the first layer of the paint. And then once the wallpaper is exposed, you can spray it with the water and then soak it and then try and peel it off. But even then, it is very difficult to do. I mean, if you just watch this, you can see my husband and I struggling. It seems like we're getting nowhere and this clip is even sped up eight times the normal speed we're going. So yeah, it took us all night and it felt like we didn't make much progress. But like I said, this was our first room. So we definitely got better at it and learned what worked and what didn't um, the further on we went. But these, this wallpaper, layers and layers and layers of wallpaper and sometimes you would get lucky like here where the first couple layers of paint would peel off flawlessly this was i would say about like 30 to 40 percent of the walls were like this where you could peel off the first layer but the rest of the walls were not like this and it was very difficult to peel off and whenever i got to a spot that would just peel off so easily like this i was singing songs i was so happy that it would peel off and then sometimes you would peel off the first layer of paint which is that gray and then you would have that yellow paint underneath like right here you saw i just peeled off the first layer of paint and then it left behind the yellow layer of paint and like i said the water does not penetrate that paint. So basically you scrape around all of that leftover paint on the wall. So here you can see we are peeling off all that wallpaper and you can see that little yellow spot on the wall. That's where the bottom layer of paint was that was painted on top of the wallpaper. I don't understand why people don't just remove what they did instead of trying to cover it up. Like who in their right mind puts five layers of wallpaper on top of each other when there are seams visible? Like I just don't get it. it it's not adding up to me. Like why don't you just tear down the last layer of wallpaper and then put up a new one instead of like just reapplying wallpaper on wallpaper on wallpaper and making the walls so uneven and then painting on top of the wallpaper? It's just like, what is wrong with people? I don't understand as a homeowner. I would never do that to my house. Like I'm trying to improve my house, not make it worse. So yeah, we spent days doing this. All right, it is eight o'clock at night and we are done for the day. So let me show you the progress of what we've done. All right, so we did this whole wall and then we did this whole area right here. So we really didn't do much. It was a lot more difficult than I thought it would be, but the walls underneath are so smooth and soft and nice. There's just like a couple spots where we need to plaster and fill. So let me show you. And obviously there's still glue on here that we're gonna have to wet and um, wash off. Okay, so here is a plaster. Here is the wall with all of the paper still on it. You can just see the unevenness. And this is smooth and nice. So we still have all of these walls to do. So that is all for today. I will update you guys whenever we do this again.